Hello, we're going to be giving a presentation on providing a school with effective communication and positive customer service, presented by Janae Boswell. The timeline of this, of these goals, will be done um, between the school years of 2021 all the way up to 2024. Um, the first step is implementing in the goals and doing the committee work, which will be implemented into the 2021-22 school year. The following school year, 2022 to 23, will continue do a continuation of implementing the goals and monitoring the progress. And then by 2023-24, we would like to see full implementation of goals and the continuous progress monitoring to again, um, increase effective communication and positive customer service. We're going to begin with our customer service goals. We aligned these with our district strategic plan goals. The first one was effective systems and prioritize resources. Our goal number one will be to establish and maintain open and effective communication with school personnel. We'll try to achieve this by beginning with strategy one, surveying the school personnel on effective communication tools. Strategy two, establishing and facilitating streamlined communication tool that can be used widely in the school community. Establishing and facilitating two-way communication channels between personnel and administration. And then strategy four, building relationships with teachers, non-certified staff, support staff, and teacher association. Again, this goal matches with the same district strategic plan goal, effective systems and prioritize resources. Goal number two will be engaging and facilitating meaningful open two-way commun communication tools on channels with parents and students. Again, really relating back to that customer service. Our first strategy is to create a focus group with stakeholders to survey and establish effective communication channels. Strategy two is establishing a parent notification tool to communicate time-sensitive information. Strategy three, develop uniform newsletters and schedule from teachers and school administration. And then the last strategy is to utilize social media to promote student and parent engagement. Our last goal, number three, on customer service is establishing and maintaining open and effective communication with the school families and community. Again, we're using that same district strategic plan of effective systems and prior prioritized resources. Our first strategy is to survey the school community, community on communication tools that are widely used. Step two or strategy two is establishing and facilitating a streamlined communication tool that can be used widely in the school community, such as Seesaw. Strategy three is also, again, to use social media to promote the school system promoted the school system. Strategy four is to build communication with our community members. Moving on to our building operations goals, getting more of that effective communication and customer service. This district strategic plan that it will follow is high academic expectations for all. So our goal is collaboratively creating and communication, communicating a school mission and vision that increases student and family engagement through relevant, rigorous, and research-based instructional practices. So our strategy one is focus groups, creating focus groups with stakeholders to survey and establish the school's mission and vision. Strategy two, communicate the school's mission and vision with all stakeholders using the school website, school newsletter, and social media outlets. Strategy three is professional de development such as working with diverse populations, trainings on social emotional strategies, research instructional practices, and others that support the school's mission and vision. One of those strategies could be the family engagement partnership. The last strategy is creating surveys that allow for feedback on how the school is meeting the needs of students through the mission and vision, reflection on what is working well and where we can improve as a school. Again, working on that customer service. Goal number two um, will be following the district strategic plan for behavior and social emotional development for all. Our goal is collaboratively creating and establishing a school culture and environment that is conducive to student learning. 
So we'll start with strategy one, surveyed and established focus groups with stakeholders that focus on school culture and environment. Strategy two, establishing and implementing a school-wide vision and mission that integrates a positive school culture that is conducive to student learning. Strategy three, providing professional development that helps support the vision and mission of a positive school culture that is conducive to student learning. The family engagement partnership is a great example. And then strategy four, continuous communication, communicating of the vision and mission through a school website and our social media web um, outlets. Our last goal is going to be working on human capital with our strategic plan. So um, the district will attract, develop, engage, and retain high quality talent. So again, that's also the school is part of a school too. So retain, develop, and hire a diverse workforce that supports the school's mission of a safe and secure learning environment is our goal number three. And we will try and meet this goal by building and maintaining positive relationships with the staff. Strategy two, creating and establishing effective communication and support systems for our current and new staff. Strategy three, again, providing professional development for our teachers. Um, Trainings such as working with diverse populations, social emotional strategies, uh, and again, any other ones that support our school's mission and vision. The last one is strategy four, establishing clear expectation for hiring effective teachers and creating diverse teams for the interview process will be a big piece of that. The budget proposal that you're going to see is to meet one of our goals in our first year. So this budget proposal um, provides a necessary cost associated with establishing and maintaining open and effective communication with our school families and the community. And I'm gonna go over that with you. So here's our budget and it is titled Open and Effective Communication with the School Families and Community Budget Proposal. I'll kind of go through these, but our last slide really summarizes it for us. So our, so our resources would be our purchasing the Seesaw online digital tool um, it cost about $6 per student, which would give us about a total of $2,700. Um, we would like to provide a one-day sub for our teachers for professional development. It's really getting to train our teachers, have them use the tool, um, and then creating things that they can already implement into the tool and use with students right away. And so um, each sub would be $160 a day with 18 teachers would give us about $2,880 for total for that. Then, and in order to really promote that customer service and bring it all together, is creating a parent engagement night. Um, we would have teachers helping that, so I'd like to provide a two hour stipend for our teachers. Um, for those two hours, it would be $24 total. With 18 teachers, it would be $432. Um, to kind of keep the people motivated to come, another little sweet thing is to do snacks and water. Um, we are, are estimating about $2 per person um, for in about 600 people, it would be 1200 And then again, just our printed materials and supplies that we will need that evening is another $200, which gives us a grand total of $7,412. So to kind of summarize this, it says the project listed above in the proposal proposed budget is to designed to provide teachers with professional development training and implementation of the online program called Seesaw. The parent engagement night is to engage and educate our families on the importance of this tool and making them part of their children's daily learning. Seesaw is an online tool that allows teachers, students, and families to interact through the school day and to see their students' daily learning. Parents can positively communicate, comment on their child's work and the child can reply to parents. Teachers can post messages to both students and families on upcoming activities. Seesaw empowers students to create, reflect, collaborate, and share their learning with others, including peers, teachers, and parents. This was in the words of Lou of 2020. This online program is designed to provide effective communication with students and schools, families, while also, again, going back to providing positive customer service interaction, which is what our goals were based on. At the end of this, I will leave it open for questions.